In this short video, we're going to demonstrate Matsyandrasana, um, which is our seated um, spinal twist. So there's a couple of different ways that we can do our seated spinal twist, but today we're going to demonstrate with Katie seated flat on the mat and then also with the blocks as well. Quite often clients think that using the blocks is an easier option, um, but actually sometimes using the blocks, even when you can use the mat, sometimes it helps to create more space around that hip joint. Um, so first of all, Katie is going to flex the knee and place her foot flat onto the mat. Um, now with this, there's lots of different variations of doing this seated spinal twist, um, but commonly there's roughly about a handspan distance between that foot and the thigh. That helps to keep the pelvis in that neutral position because we want the pelvis still facing the short edge of the mat. And when the foot lifts up, what we don't want is the hips opening up too much here. So we want to keep the hips closed facing the short edge of that mat. Also with the hand, uh, the foot handspan distance between the um, foot and the leg sometimes helps to create a little bit more space as you rotate into the hip as well. So the first thing is to make sure that the client isn't rounded through the lower back. If they're rounded through the lower back, they're not going to achieve um, an effective rotation in the spine. So for all spinal rotations, we want to have that nice tall position in the back. So the first thing that would happen is that the client would lift up to or lengthen the spine up towards the ceiling. If they're not straight in the lower back area, then we need to use one or two blocks straight away. Okay, then from here, Katie's going to take a nice outward, deep outward breath as she then rotates into the hip and she's going to hug that leg. So she's using the hand to hug the knee as she then rotates the body into the hip. Um, she's keep using the arm behind her to help to keep that nice tall spine position. Um, and then she's looking over that opposite shoulder. So we get a nice rotation in the C-spine as well. Engaging the banders here as that will also help to create more space as you rotate into the hip. Okay, now each time she's breathing out in this posture, she's just lengthening that spine up a little bit further towards the ceiling just to see whether it will lift up any further. And if it does lift, sometimes it helps to um, deepen that rotation. So it's always a lift first and then a rotate rather than maintaining that spinal position and just trying to rotate round. So with all of our spinal rotations, it's a lift first through the spine and then rotate. Excellent, and then come back to that center position. Thank you. Um, now we're going to show the variation on the block. So although Katie could comfortably complete that posture, seated flat on the mat, and she had a good positioning at the hip, we're also going to try it with the block this time. Okay, so she's sitting nice and squarely on the block, um, pelvis facing the short edge of the mat. And again, Katie's going to flex the knee, place that foot flat onto the mat. And again, roughly about handspan distance between that foot and the thigh. Then from here, Katie's again engaging those banders, lengthening the spine and on that outward breath, she's rotating into that hip. Okay, so now we can see Katie in this instance, although she's on the block, the block is actually helping her to create more space around that hip joint because Katie is now able to go deeper into this posture because she's able to now bring this elbow towards the opposite side of the knee here. So she's got a deeper rotation than she has when she's in that seated position or seated position. Again, she's using the hand behind to keep that spine nice and tall and looking over that opposite shoulder. So we're getting rotation in the neck as well. So it's sometimes quite nice to practice these different variations. By all means, if your client is able to do the seated rotation flat on the mat, then do so. But you then might want to progress. So using the block here has enabled Katie to progress to a deeper position in this seated spinal twist. Excellent. And then relax back down. Excellent. Thank you.